This is the glove case, and it's probably the most overpriced case in CSGO right now. It's gone from about the 270s to around 340 currently in just a span of like two weeks. So what exactly happened for this case with a 22% return on investment, the second worst out of any CSGO case, just ahead of the $40 esports 2013 case to get to this price? There isn't a single good skin in this case, and you'd assume people like knives more than gloves as well. And I mean, not many people rock the expensive gloves and no knife combo. Well today, let's find out. But just before we get into it, check out how to get a free $5 trading with the sponsor Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is a great way to get the actual value for your skin and not lose a lot of money while trading for skins that look great. You can easily trade the junk you have sitting around for good investment items that can earn you money over time, or trade for a knife that's been doing incredibly well price wise long term. They're not hard to find at all. And once again, free $5 bonus on your first trade when you sign up. Link at the top of the description. But for now, let's get back into it. So as I covered in the intro, there isn't really much good about this case. Compared to almost every other case in the game, the return on investment is absolutely awful. Every time you open a case, on average, you're only going to be getting about 22% of that money back, and there just isn't a single good skin in it besides some of the gloves. Now, I think this tells us first off that people literally don't care about the skins in a case and only care about knives or gloves the vast majority of the time, with some exceptions if a case is like the AK case hardened, but I mean that's not really an investment case because it's so expensive already, but either way, this would explain why cases like CS20 with the classic knives are so cheap compared to the others still. Shadow cases as well only have shadow daggers as knives despite having some pretty good red skins, and they're still a really cheap case, and they have the frontside misty AK as well, and they haven't really moved in price either. So I think this just really shows how much more people care about like good rare special items in cases compared to just good reds, good pinks, and stuff like that. And that's probably the main thing you have to look out for in cases. Does it have knives that people like? And of course then just the basic stuff like is it in the active drop pool and do you think it's going to get removed soon if it is? Otherwise you probably shouldn't be investing it and stick to older cases. Now as for the best cases right now, just because of how fundamentally overvalued they are compared to other cases, the breakout case and glove case are not even on my radar anymore at all, they haven't been in the past many months. I think we should definitely see a big dip in those two, especially based on how expensive they are already. I gotta imagine a lot of investors are gonna want to sell whenever this operation comes, hopefully after the major as Valve definitely aren't gonna release both of these at the same time it would just make them less money so they definitely won't do it but with something like the breakout case we're now starting to see that the hype isn't just going to continue straight up forever near five dollars for a case is already insane and there actually was a large push up to around 470 in september and it came down just as quick to levels it was at and i gotta imagine it could very well just go sideways until we hit the operation as things are looking really similar to last time around when the same exact thing happened huge spike up back to levels it was at before the spike and then they dip when the operation came and we're seeing a very similar setup now now we just gotta see the operation so as for now i'm not really touching cases in quote unquote fear of the operation dip even though i think if there is a big one it'll get bought up much quicker this time around as people will expect it and capitalize off it but the cases I'm looking at are definitely going to be the cheaper ones with good knives. Revolver cases I've liked a lot recently, even though it's got pretty awful skins, it's got the great OG CSGO knives where a lot of them are not only really expensive but people seem to like them as well. And it's also the cheapest case with these knives by a reasonable amount which makes me think it's going to be good long term. The way I look at it, honestly, if we have something like the Wildfire case which only has the Bowie knife and it can hit like 60 cents and Gamba cases can get to around a dollar even though they have pretty good knives, a dollar for that case is really good. I'd say the Revolver case is definitely undervalued at this time and has a lot of room to grow. But as for other cases, I'm just going to wait till the next operation to buy the case that comes with it, honestly. Operation cases have shown great results usually, especially with the two recent ones, Broken Fang and Riptide, where you're going to get the vast majority of sellers at the very beginning when all that hype is there, and a lot of people selling just because it's free money if you buy the operation pass and then get a ton of cases and sell them on the market, so that's just really what I'm looking out for. It's really just going to be the main exciting event next up in CSGO as majors really don't seem to be that great for investors anymore unfortunately but we just gotta wait once again till an operation drops. So with that being said be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed and of course check out Skins Monkey for that free $5 bonus as well. 
But for now, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.